Hi, this is Anita from Endoro. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cropping and resizing in Procreate. Here's some chest designs, some furniture pieces that I designed in Procreate. Uh, let's say that I want to be able to crop or resize um, this canvas here. First thing I will do is I will duplicate. You, you go from right to left and I will make a copy of that canvas. Did not duplicate, there it's duplicating. Now you can see I have a duplicated copy of this canvas in my folder with all my chest designs. This is very important because when you crop, if you do something wrong and you don't have a copy or duplicate of it, then it's really hard to go back to the original. So I always recommend that the first thing you do is you do a duplicate so in case there's a problem, you always have the original to go back to. So here's the one that I've duplicated here. And let's say that I want to crop the canvas, but you'll notice here when I show you this, I have a lot of different layers for this one item. Now, the thing, important thing to remember is the layers themselves are not going to be um, to be cropped. Like you can't crop like one layer. The main thing you can do is you can crop the entire canvas. You go up here to the wrench tool here, you'll see crop and resize. And then this will come just like if you would, you know, crop, you know, like your photos or other things. You can decide exactly how you want to be. You can move the cropping around. You need to do all that before you press done, because if you do it, once you're done with it, then the cropping is done. So I want to move it up or down just a little bit. I'll do that right there. And you've, if you've noticed too, that when I press this, you know, when I move it around, it says, oh, 327 layers are available. So if you happen to run out of layers in Procreate, if you actually do a crop, it will give you more layers. So it's kind of a trick that you can learn too. You can press done and then you're done with it here. So if we go back to it again, we go to the crop and the resize. If we go here to settings, now here are some of the different settings that they have. One is you can, you can decide if you want to rotate it a little bit, like maybe it's not quite as straight as you want it to be. You can, you, can, um, you can decide if that's what you want to do with it, right? You can actually, you can put in the snapping, the, the lines. You can do a re, um, you can re-sample the canvas. You can change the canvas size if you want to. Let's say if you want to change this to 2000. And then it's already changed it and adjusted it. So those are all the different things that you can do. Even you press cancel, it doesn't seem to do very much because I go back to it here crop and resize, and if I go to my settings, the cancel did actually change where I don't have the pixels anymore. So let's say if I wanna change it again, go into there, 2000, okay, and then I have to press done. Now if I'm gonna go back to it here, and see the, here you've noticed too that it changed it, right? Like it, it moved it, so it made a different size of a canvas. So you really need to go back in, crop and resize here, go back to the settings, 2000 by, let's say, I wanna do it by 2000, right? So, but now I've gotta make sure that I have it where I want it to be. So, you know, now, now it's got a square there. So you can basically play around with this. So I wanna go back in again, and you know, the easiest way I find to use this is just to basically use the actual crop like this right here and to go in and to basically change the size that you need. And there you go. So that's basically the functions for the crop and resize in the Procreate app. It's very useful if you, you know, need to crop something before you export it but really, you need to really make sure that you duplicate it first because even if there's a problem with it, I would go back here to my gallery, right? I still have the original one there and I have the cropped one there. So you can kind of see, I can move them here side by side and there, you know, I have them side by side. If I need to, I can delete one of them or I can leave them both in there. It's up to you. But you need to really make sure that you first duplicate it so in case there's a problem, you can always go back to the original. Thank you so much for listening. We truly do appreciate your support. If you have any questions or comments, um, let us know. And we'd love to have you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.